Hello guys, today we will take a look at the Polymaker Polylite PLA. So I got in contact with Polymaker through Twitter. They searched for small YouTubers who can do a review of their new Polylite PLA. First of all, the Polylite PLA is not available in Europe. It's only available in the US. So we in Europe, we cannot get easily one spool. This spool was sent to me by Polymaker. Polymaker did not pay for any review, they did not influence this video. I only received this spool to give an unbiased review. So as you can see, I have burned through a lot of the spool already. To make some prints to see how good this material can actually print. This is my opinion about the material and this is my way to do and to check the material how good I can print. I usually have a standard setting for PLA material. I do not change anything besides the printing temperature. I only change other parameters if I cannot really print anything good. So I went the same way here and only changed the nozzle temperature from 195 degrees to 215 degrees in three steps. On the box it says it's printable from 40 to 90 millimeters per second and from 195 to 230 degrees. But who cares about the box anyway? <laughs> you want to figure out it on your own. The polylite material comes in one kilogram spools and with this translucent material as spool, which is quite handy. You can easily see how far you have burned down your spool, which is quite nice. I made these test prints here, Benchy's calibration prints, this Wonder Woman bracelet, this little gel bot. We will now take a closer look at those prints. Please don't be scared by visible layer lines and by stringing on the parts. Keep in mind that I have zoomed in very hard to the prints so you can see in detail what is going on there. The first Banshee print at 215 degrees with 0.2 layers looked very good. It had strings in the window but overall a good quality print. The distance towers and the calibration pin showed severe stringing on the part themselves. Also the part looked a little bit over extruded which left a hint for the temperature. So reduce the temperature to 205 degrees and print the next Banshee which looked very good. It was absolutely no stringing on the part, but on the calibration pin and on the distance towers again we had some stringing. But overall the layer lines looked very good, only in the small detail areas you had some sits and blobs. With 195 degrees the part still looked good. You could see the layer lines a little bit more and you again had some stringing on the banshee. The calibration print and the distance towers look very good again. Small strings here. Overall the print quality was not that good as with 205 degrees. So I decided to go with 205 degrees for the next prints. The squirtle came out very good. I scaled it up to 150% with 0.2 layers. And the layers were very gorgeous. Only a small string on the bottom area. I then printed my waist, my spiral waist, and this is what I have never experienced before. In waist mode, even in waist mode, my waist had some strings. I could not really guess where they came from, but the layer lines were very gorgeous. And because of the color I had to print the Joel bot, which came out very nice. Some areas don't look very good, but this is because of the movable y-axis and the shaking of the model. So you have seen the close-up shots of the calibration prints and decorative prints. I have also printed some practical parts like this little hook here. This hook is printed with four bottom and three top layers and only 5% infill. And I want to give you a short impression of the strength of this PLA material. Inside this box I have some tools like small needle files, screwdrivers, 
drill bits which are quite heavy all in all it's about seven kilograms and this little hook here I use to hang things up in my storage room can lift this box with seven kilograms with no problem as you can see it holds the weight and I did this test three or four times already because I had to reshoot some of the video and it's still going strong. I know that this isn't a tensile strength test for this material, but I think it's a good reference for you to kind of guess how strong the material actually is. Further, I have printed the bolts of the PUBG helmet. If you have seen my last video, you might have spotted the blue material. The bolts are here on the right side and on the left side. The sanding and the painting of those bolts was no problem and they are still going strong. So what is my conclusion about the polylite PLA material I received? I would consider this a rather cheap material. It is currently on Amazon for sale for about $21. It usually costs $25. The 21 dollars are 17 euros in Germany and 17 euros for one kilogram spool of material is quite cheap. In the end I would consider the material quite good. It delivers good print quality with a acceptable price. You only have the issue or I had the issue with the stringing which you might reduce by tweaking more parameters but as said I only went with the nozzle temperature because this is my standard way to go for new materials. I would consider this material suitable for people who post process their 3D prints like prop, builder, prop builders or cosplayers. If you have to sand or paint your parts anyway then these small strings which you can see are not a big deal. Also for normal people, these small strings, they are quite easy removable with a blowtorch or something like that. And what you really want is good layers and this material can deliver good layers and a quite good finish on your printed part. I hope I could give you a good impression of the polylite PLA material. As always, you have to decide on your own if you want to buy it or buy it not. You can also check out other reviews out there on YouTube. As always, I put all the links in the description below. If you like this video, consider giving me a like or a subscription to my YouTube channel. And also be sure to follow my Twitter and my Instagram account. As always, thank you guys for watching. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.